So here this question, uh, let's look at a dash o dash, let's call this length as x. If you just drop a perpendicular from a dash b dash onto a b, then the length a m, m is the foot of this perpendicular, that's also equal to x. Now it's already given to us that the speed v1 of the ring o dash is equal to dx by dt. Now as per the question, x increases with time. So this is a positive term and this indeed is the velocity and y let's assume the distance from a to o as y which is a sum of this distance plus this distance and this distance can be called as z so y is basically x plus z the distance from o to the foot of the perpendicular dropped from here right so if you just differentiate this equation then dy by dt is basically that should give you the speed now speed needs to be positive but y is decreasing with time because as per the constraint this ring moves up so let's differentiate this both sides with respect to time you get this equation we need to understand that v2 is negative of dy by dt if v2 is to be a speed and if you look at this equation over here dx by dt is a positive term and dz by dt is a negative term so but the magnitude of dz by dt needs to be more than the magnitude of dx by dt if this point is to move up so like this is something like minus 1 this is something like minus 1.2 so dy by dt is indeed becomes a negative term then and then dv2 is negative of dy by dt so then that v2 becomes a speed because then this becomes positive so right now let us uh, write dx by dt straightforward as v1 from this equation over here and we need to do away with dz by dt since dy by dt is already given as or found to be minus v2 negative of the speed so we just need to replace this dz by dt over here so how do we remove that so if you look at just this, this triangle we can write a constraint relationship from here uh, we can write the constraint relationships this red thread over here l plus x that is a constant so this gives you dl by dt is negative of dx by dt now this makes sense since dx by dt is a positive term and this is a negative term so this should make sense as such l has to become lesser and lesser with time if a dash o dash is to increase with time o dash remains on this rod a dash b dash so this is one of the relationships then we can just write from this triangle over here so if you do that then z square is equal to l square minus k square differentiating both sides with respect to time we get this equation now two cancels from both sides and dz by dt is okay l upon z is simply one upon cos alpha right so dl by dt so this helps us to write dz by dt in terms of dl by dt so if we just simply look at this equation, I'm just write, rewriting this equation here, minus v2 over here, v1 over here, and dz by dt is 1 plus 1 by cos alpha dl by dt. Now this is fine up to here because dz by dt is a negative term and this is also a negative term because dl by dt is negative. So then we finally write this in this way, 1 upon cos alpha dl by dt is minus dx by dt so this needs to be a negative term right so then dl by dt is minus dx by dt so this still ends up being a negative term no problem still here so minus v2 is v1 minus again dx by dt is v1 right dx by dt you can see where dx by dt is v1 so this is v1 divided by cos alpha now this gives you the relationship between v1 and v2 multiplying both sides by negative of cos alpha we get v2 cos alpha is v1 cos alpha plus v1 and since we are multiplying with negative of cos alpha so we have this relationship so from here we can just work around and we can write like this and we can write like this so this should help you write the required relationship between V2 and V1.